has miffed at you because you have poked your nose before his exposure of the story. <laughs> These are hilarious to a native English speaker. Welcome back to the only series on YouTube where a fully qualified English teacher fails at answering Japanese university entrance exams. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Kindai University Part 2, um, which is looking at sentences and trying to figure out which ones make sense.、Uh, the point of these questions is to get the ones that are closest in meaning to the Japanese sentence, but because I can't read Japanese, then I just have to go off of which ones. Make sense and which ones are understandable. And I'm going to go through the other sentences and tell you how to make them correct. So, this video was meant to be done with my girlfriend Charlie as well, but we just moved into our new flat together on Sunday. So, four days ago. It's all looking a bit of a mess right now. We've got、uh, some of our figures and things on the display shelf in the back, but it's a bit of a mess. And She has been emergency recalled to work by the government. So she has to go back to work, which means you've only got me this week, but she will hopefully be in the next video that we do.、Um, she said that's absolutely fine. She was looking forward to being in this one, but unfortunately, work has gotten in the way. So today it's just me, but the next video will have both of us. Anyway, on to the questions. So, question number 11. There are four sentences we have. It draws upon how you feel that you are happy or not. Whether you are happy or not depends, on,、well, depends much on your frame of mind. Emotion, such as being happy or not, is connected from the way you feel. Your sentiment about the world may bring you to happiness or unhappiness. Okay, so these are quite、uh, complex sentences by the looks of it.、Uh, quite difficult to fully understand. But I can tell the first sentence it sounds nice, but it doesn't quite make sense. It draws upon how you feel that you are happy or not. I think what it's trying to say is. Because the, the inclusion of the word that makes it kind of really difficult to understand because it's linking two clauses that don't make sense together. Let's carry on. So, whether you are happy or not depends much on your frame of mind. I think that makes sense. Depends much. Yeah. Depends much on your frame of mind. That makes sense. So, at the moment, two makes sense. Emotion, such as being happy or not, is connected from the way you feel.、Um, no, because you would need, first of all, emotions, such as being happy or not. It's connected from the way you feel, connected to the way you feel. It's trying to say that emotions are how you feel. Simple. Number four,、uh, your sentiment about the world may bring you to happiness or h a p p i n e s s Bring you to happiness or unhappiness doesn't make sense. So the answer here, the one that makes sense, is number two. Uh, ni. Ich, ni, sa, yeah. ni. <laughs> I'm trying to learn Japanese still, so I'm just making sure I get my numbers correct. Okay, question number 12. She seems to ignore the fact that she sometimes surrenders her emotions. Two. It is likely that she insists that she has never possessed with her emotions. Three. She seemingly does not want to admit that her emotions get the better of her sometimes. Four. It seems that she does not acknowledge her irresistible and uncontrollable passion take on her. Okay. Three makes complete sense. She seemingly does not want to admit that her emotions get the better of her sometimes. It means sometimes her emotions are so strong that she can't control how she reacts, how she acts.、Um, so if you're very passionate about something, like when a sports player gets so mad, they, I don't know, if it's football, they kick the ball into the crowd, they slam their tennis racket onto the ground, they don't, their emotions take over, take control.、And、that's what it's saying. Sentence one is very close to making sense.、Uh, she seems to ignore the fact that she sometimes surrenders to her emotions. Makes perfect sense. But by not having to, a bit difficult to understand. It is likely that she insists that she is never possessed with her emotions. They're trying to say possessed in the form of like a ghost story or a demon story where the demon possesses the person like their emotions. So it would be、um, she is never. Been possessed by her emotions. And that's how it makes sense. Number three is correct, so that's the answer. Number four, it seems that she does not acknowledge her irresistible and uncontrollable. It seems she does not acknowledge the effect of her irresistible and uncontrollable passion on her. Yeah, that makes sense. They all mean the same thing once you add in these little words. Okay, question number 13, which is 
Hang on. 12345678101213 Right? Sentence number one. Reading books recommended by your friends is good because then you can discuss them together. That makes sense. Question number, uh, sentence number two. It is a really nice thing that we can have a chat with our friends who recommend a book to us. That also makes sense. That's good. Books which your friends suggest us read always end up with a lively discussion with all of them. Now we're getting into not making much sense at all. That's a bit complex, a bit complicated. Four. You would follow your friend's advice on which book you read because you can enjoy a talk with them. Again, doesn't quite make sense. One and two make make good sense. Um, Moritetsu can explain which one is closer to the Japanese because I don't, I can't read the Japanese. The can't, I can read uh, hiragana. Hiragana's fine. I can't read kanji. <laughs> so that's a bit difficult. Sentence number three, however. Books which your friends suggest us read always end up with a lively discussion with all of them. Books that your friends suggest you read can lead to a lively discussion with them. That makes sense. Question number four. You would follow your friend's advice on which book you read because you can enjoy a talk with them. Um, or th see, this one's really difficult to kind of make sense. Uh, you can... You should, you should follow your friend's advice on which books to read because then you can enjoy conversing with them. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. It's quite complex. Sorry, the light might be a little bit bad now because of the sun. It's going straight into my face. We'll see how, oh, look at that white streak across my face. Okay, anyway, question number 14. You beat your boss before he was rendering his jest explicit, which makes him cross. Your untimely inception, interception of your boss, who was about to begin his joke, irritating him. Your boss has miffed at you because you have poked your nose before his exposure of the story. <laughs> These are hilarious to a native English speaker. These are very funny. The boss is in a foul mood because you interrupted him when he was leading up to the punchline. Boom. Sentence number four. Perfect sense. That is the one you want to say. <laughs> the rest are very funny. It seems so formal. Yeah, the first one actually makes grammatical sense. You beat your boss before he made it clear that he was joking, and now he's angry. It's basically what it's saying. Number two, I think all of them say this. All of them say the same. You know, you, you uh, worked out the joke before your boss told you it is what they're all trying to say. Very funny sentences, so posh. It's like you walk into your business meeting and you're like, your untimely interception of your boss, who was about to begin his joke, irritated him. <laughs> it's quite funny. Anyway, yeah, so they're all trying to say the same thing there. Question number 15. We agree that Japanese companies' efforts to increase the workers' diversity among its cultures, uh, sorry, among cultures is recommendable. We agree that Japanese companies' efforts to increase the workers' diversity among cultures is recommendable. Good, that makes that makes sense. It's saying diversity in culture is or the the effort from Japanese companies to increase diversity of culture is good. And I agree with that because as somebody who wants to maybe move to Japan in the future. Diversity in business is always good for me. Uh, number two, we can support Japanese companies in their efforts to add more recognition to a variety of cultures in their employees. Yeah, that also makes sense. Um, yeah, those two both make perfect sense. Although, add more recognition to a variety of cultures of their employees. Okay, the last half is a little bit complex. So the first one is better than the second one, but it still makes sense. It is worth considered for many Japanese firms put efforts in improvising their workers' flexibility for understanding foreign cultural specifics. Uh, getting more complex and there's some tense issues here. It is worth considering, is what it should say, not it is worth considered. It is worth considering for many Japanese firms to put efforts or to put effort into improving their workers' flexibility for understanding foreign cultural specifics. That's good. Um... And uh, number four, I think it is commendable that many Japanese companies make a lot of effort to enhance their employees' understanding of different cultures. Also makes perfect sense. 
Um, it's saying they agree with the idea that Japanese companies should be making an effort for their employees to understand cultural differences. So I, just as I should be making an effort to understand Japanese culture when I go to Japan, companies should make an effort to understand maybe my culture when I'm working there, for example.